welcome to the workshop. Being able to measure and mark straight lines is extremely important in fine furniture making and in woodworking in general. One of the keys to that is having a nice straight edge. Precision straight edges like this one made by Veritas are ground over a length here of 24 inches to less than one thousandth of an inch error along the entire length. Now you don't need to have one of these to produce a straight edge and I'll show you in a moment how you can check a normal steel rule to make sure it has straight edges. But if you can afford a reference straight edge it makes life a lot easier. We can check our steel rule along the edge of this straight edge, holding it up against the light source. If the steel rule is straight, then along the entire length where they're touching, you shouldn't see any light come through at all. Other tools can be checked on there as well. It's always important that the blade on your tri-square is straight and that the stock is. And in my video on the tri-square I show how you can check that the tri-square is set precisely to 90 degrees and that procedure requires you to have a perfectly straight edge on a board which again can be checked with this sort of straight edge. If you do opt for a precision straight edge, remember to take care of it. Keep the original wrapping that it came in, which will have, if it's a metal straight edge, a rust inhibitor in the paper. And it gives it sufficient protection for everyday handling. I will also just mention at this point that if you wish to produce your own winding sticks they need to be produced perfectly straight and a straight edge is great for checking those against. So what if you don't have a precision straight edge? How can you check that your steel rule that you use every day is straight? Well unfortunately the best way of doing it is to not have one steel rule to not have two steel rules but to have either three steel rules or two steel rules and another steel this is an old straight edge it wasn't a precision one but it's used for marking, it's got a bevel on the top so basically what we're looking for is three edges which are supposedly straight and we will use the top edge on this steel rule, imperial rule we'll use the top edge on this imperial and metric rule and we'll use the beveled edge on this straight edge. So if we put these two edges, top edges together on the steel rules, if they're straight you would think that there would be no gap along the length. But that's not a perfect check for it because if the top of this rule was bent like that and the top of this rule was also bent like that they'd fit together and you'd see no gap in between them however 
if the top of this straight edge fits nicely to this steel rule and it also fits nicely to this steel rule then our little hypothesis that this rule could be that shape and this rule could be that shape is disproved because if this one was that shape it may well fit against this edge if that edge was also that shape but if we then put these two edges together we'd have an edge that was this shape on the straight edge and an edge that was that shape on this rule if we put them together we'd see a gap in the middle now testing these ones together I can feel there is a slight rock here it's pivoting round about the 9 inch mark on this rule and about the 9 centimeter mark on this rule so either we have a high point on this rule or a high point on this rule or perhaps both if we test this rule against the straight edge there's no rocking so my first thought is that we don't have a high point on this rule if we then test this rule against the straight edge we get the same rocking at the same place so I'm confident now that there's a high point at about the 9 centimeter mark on this rule and what we will now do is work on that high point by holding the rule perpendicular to a flat surface with some wet and dry paper on it holding the rule between thumb and forefinger above the point where we think it's highest and just working it slightly backwards and forwards across the paper and frequently coming back and retesting against both the other steel rule and the straight edge until that rocking has been cancelled out and every time we test we're also looking for any other inconsistency maybe rocking will start somewhere else we may end up having to concentrate when we're working it on the wet and dry paper in two separate places but we've worked them together and eventually we'll get any high spots out of that and they'll match with the other steel rule and if they match with a straight edge then hopefully you can see we'll have proved that these three edges are straight unfortunately one of the other useful points about a steel rule is that it should be parallel and so if we've worked an area on this rule to get rid of a bump there is a good possibility that there is a dip in the other side so we'll then use the other side and check the other side against the two edges that we've proven to be straight and we will either see a gap or maybe not but most likely we will see a gap opposite where we had the high point 
and to work on the gap again we go onto wet and dry paper holding either side of the gap so in effect the high points work on those keep checking until the other side was flat but what's important at this point when we do this is we're trying to keep it parallel so we need to check with some calipers along the length of the blade and I don't know if you can see but it is showing slightly wider at this end so to get rid of the high points on here we'll concentrate our pressure mainly on the end that's thicker and we continue to work along that until it fits the straight edges perfectly and until its width is consistent along its entire length then we'll have a steel rule which is has two perfect straight edges on it is parallel through its length and we can use that to check straight edges for example a winding stick we can now check with our ruler and the important point about this is our reference straight edge for as much time as possible stays protected wrapped up and stored carefully so whether you've prepared your own straight edge going through this process or whether you have a reference straight edge look after that straight edge it's a lot quicker to produce another straight edge if you know that one of them is accurate in the first place I hope you've enjoyed this little video if you have please like it and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing to my channel there'll be plenty more videos coming in the future which I hope you'll like <laughs>